All right, Coach, you guys came from Gunnison, Gunnison Colorado, Colorado, right? Gunnison, Colorado, yes. To, to yes. mix it up with some of the Division One schools out there and, yes. and also Adams. Yeah, we um, had a, a summer camp, and a bunch of the high school coaches from Oklahoma came out, and uh, so they were very excited about us coming out, and, and we I wanted to make sure it was an 8K, <laughs> and uh, our men and women ran very well, so we were excited to come out and get get to run in a big meet. So, yeah, what's it, what's it like? Coming up to race some of the, the top D1 schools, what? Oh, it's you know it's exciting. We don't run in races this big until nationals. You know, we're, if we run in the West, we're running in Colorado. You don't have 50 to 100 teams wanting to run at altitude. So we wanted to come and mix it up and just just race. You know, we weren't worried about pace. We weren't worried about place. We just wanted to race and get get in there and mix it up and um, give them an opportunity because um, at the national meet, you know, we're always looking at our you know, our strategy, where we're placing and who we need to race against. Here, it's you know, doesn't matter what what uniform you're running against. You just gotta put it on the line. Now, you said yesterday, 7,800 feet. You guys are at yes. out in Gunnison. What yes. is it? I mean, how much of a difference is it coming down to a sea level like this? You know, I, a couple of my freshman girls haven't raced at a sea level ever um, and in a race this big. And when they're done, they're oh. Okay, it feels a little different. So it, it is an adjustment um, for us. And the people that have raced at sea level a couple times know what it's like to breathe a little different and uh, have some more air so they know they can push it. You keep telling them, you just gotta trust it. It goes out fast, you just gotta go with it. And um, and then they get to the men, you know, four or five K, and then they can start picking up, whereas normally we're just trying to hold on at that point. So we're not going to knock that. So but yeah, coming down to sea level is a it's a it's a fun fun time for us. Have you have you coached at out of out of altitude before? No, no. no? I oh, actually yeah. all of my training. I was a Colorado-born girl and went to Western State and ran there and and uh, continued training and then um, became an assistant coach and then took over. So. All right. Now, uh, last thing I want to say, you just said off camera. This is your third year as head coach. Yes. In your first year. You were national coach of the year um, on the men's side. Yes, you know, I I was blessed to have some good athletes coming in and keep re recruiting other good athletes and figure out what was going to be a good fit um, for my program. Uh, and so it's, it's been an adjustment. But our men were, um, my first year as head coach, they were seven points out of a national title. Last year we were 21 points behind. So they've been close. And our women have been, been they were third last year. So we just got to try to keep keep improving and stay in there. And we gotta we gotta brag a little bit. Dan was talking about it. I had dinner last night and he said no no women woman has ever been head coach of the year for a, a men's, a men's program. program. Correct, correct. So I guess that was um, Yeah I feel pretty proud of that. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's it's a good accolade and it's gets good representation um, for our college and and uh, but more than anything we just wanna run around. So and that's more important. <laughs> All right, well uh we appreciate the time Thank and hopefully we'll see much. you again soon. Thank you. Thanks guys. All right, take care.